The fourth Republican presidential debate included no shortage of insults. The most obnoxious blowhard in America. So <laughs> shut up for a while. Only four candidates appeared on stage in Alabama. The main target, Nikki Haley. I love all the attention, fellas. Thank you for that. <laughs> Vivek Ramaswamy used his first question to go directly after Haley. Now you're a multimillionaire. That math does not add up. It adds up to the fact that you are corrupt. And in terms of these donors that are supporting that. me, they're just yeah. jealous. Chris Christie then defending Haley. While we disagree about some issues and we disagree about who should be president of the United States, what we don't disagree on is this is a smart, accomplished woman. You should stop insulting so her. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to take several times. Chris, your version of foreign policy experience was closing a bridge from New Jersey to New York. Yeah. So do everybody a favor. Just walk yeah. yourself off that stage, enjoy a nice meal, yeah. and get the hell out of this yeah, race. Yeah, uh, when it comes to the candidates largely agreed on immigration, the economy, and China. Chunks of time were spent debating small disagreements on the border, student loans, and digital currency. They were not asked about abortion. Truly, this was the undercard fighting to become the second candidate. Instead of the reality of this race that Donald Trump is dominating, we saw kind of a parallel world where the other candidates are, are trying to fight with themselves. We'll see if it works. Former President Donald Trump, the frontrunner, has skipped all four debates. During a town hall Tuesday, he declined to rule out abusing his power if he returns to the White House. You would never abuse power as retribution against anybody. Except for day one. Chris Christie last night said he does not think Trump was kidding when he made that comment. Ramaswamy casted the other candidates as too close to Trump. It's all three of them have been licking Donald Trump's boots for years. Ron DeSantis sidestepped questions about whether Trump is fit to be president. To be president. I think we need to have somebody younger. I think when you get up to 80, I don't think it's a job for that. Is we he do fit not or want to do something You're talking that's about him being 80, 80 years old. It doesn't old. mean Somebody is he couldn't fit? get elected. That's Ron, the people that Governor DeSantis, let him. Ron, is he fit? Ron, is he fit? Is he fit? No, not Governor DeSantis, let him. Ron, Ron okay. is he fit? I think we have an opportunity to do guys, somebody guys, who is in the prime of their life. Overnight, the super PAC supporting Trump slammed his rivals, writing in a statement, the battle for second place has become the biggest waste of time, money, and energy that politics has ever seen. Ramaswamy ended up with the most speaking time at the debate. DeSantis trailed very closely behind. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.